Hello and welcome to Little Previews. Little Previews of big bike races. I'm the little guy, Matt. And we are brought to you by the Wide Angle Podium Network, the biggest little podcast network out there and a YouTube network, obviously. Look, here we are. Today, we're here to talk about two races. The E3 Saxophone Bank race used to be the E3 Hauerbeck, and then Ghent. So the E3 will be on Friday, the 26th of March, and then Ghent is on Sunday, the 28th of March. Now, the E3 is only a men's race, 200, shade over 200K, basically like a little mini Flanders. It's like 50 some K less than Flanders, but you got 17 climbs, uh, only 10-ish K to the finish after the last climb. It's just a mini Flanders. It's a great race, it's super fun. And uh, on the plus side, I don't think there's, I've seen anything sexist from the organizers this year. So, uh, you know, that should be the least you can ask for. So it feels a little more okay to like this race this year. Uh, past winners are basically a who's who of classics riders. Stybar, Terpster, GVA, Kwiatowski, uh, Cancelera won it a bunch, Boone and won it. It's a great race and super fun. And then Sunday, 28th, we've got Ghent. We've got a men's and a women's. Uh, the men's is like 250k. I cannot figure out how long the women's race is. I've looked around. I don't know. I'm, I'm sorry. I will assume it's about 130k. Say that. Uh, uh, again, a lot of climbs. It's Belgium climbs, fields, crosswinds, all that. But there's a lot farther to the finish. There's like 20 some k to the finish from the last climb at Ghent. So Ghent ends up being much more of a sprinter's race. So still a fun race. Now you can always watch it on TV. Uh, my assistant here will hand me some of my snacks. You know, you're, uh, you can just watch it at home. Nom, 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 nom. But say you're in Belgium and you wanna go watch the race but you don't live on the course. Well, I've got a suggestion for you. All right, so you want to get out to the course, but you don't live on it. Well, obviously, you offer to prune a farmer's tree, hopefully right on a climb. You prune it and get a little bit over there, over there. Oh, oh, here comes the race. Okay, oh, let's get aside. Let's look at that race. Well, for the E3, big favorites, Vanderpool, Wout, Trek. Below that, you got Stybar, GVA, Turgus, Nason, Sep. And then you got, like, Pollitt, Benut, uh, Cabrelli, Trenton below that. It's a hillier classic. It's more of a mini Flanders, so it's really the serious classics, guys. Now for Ghent, we'll put the Ghent Hill in here. Ghent's a little different, more of a sprinter's race. So Mads, Ballerini, Wout, Merlier, Kristoff, kind of below them on the men's side. And on the women's side, Ellen Van Dyke's been riding well. Uh, won previous editions, obviously in good form, having just won the Healthy Aging Tour. Bastinelli's been riding well, and Yadoma's been getting better. Of course, there's the Planter Pura team of Alvarado and a million cyclocross stars, which would be cool to see, though uh, not 100% sure what their form looks like. But the women's side, uh, the climbs do have the added little bump in the hill of the SD Works team that is there to always wreak havoc upon everybody else. Well, I hope that was helpful. Uh, now you know, just get your... Get your drinks, hang out, watch the race, either on course on top of a ladder or uh, at home with one of those streaming services that has not paid me enough to mention their name. They paid me nothing. Um, <laughs> thanks for watching this little preview. And if you enjoy this sort of thing, <laughs> please subscribe to the Wide Angle Podium Network. Go check out uh, Wide Angle Podium for all the great podcasts on there. And uh, come back where we'll do one of these for Flanders.